he can't really see me because it's dark because it's five something in the morning but I am at my dad's house and he's getting ready to take me to the airport because I'm going on an adventure and I'm gonna take you with me I wasn't gonna do any video first thing in the morning I was just gonna wait till I was traveling do y'all hear all these birds I hope you can hear that this is the neighborhood I grew up in guys guys let's go I love I'm in Des Moines and it's really nice outside I was so nervous it was gonna be really cold and then I was gonna die <laughs> but it's not it's nice and I got my luggage didn't get lost so we're off to a really good start <laughs> So I actually just woke up from being asleep. I got to my Airbnb a little while ago. It was completely wiped out. But I just have to show you guys the really cool thing about where I currently am. This Airbnb is like an urban farm project. You see the big garden out here? Of course there's nothing growing because it's Iowa in March. But look. It's like a high tunnel and garden. Also, there was good coffee. So just all around, I'm giving it two thumbs way, way up right now. I'm so excited. I wish that I could see this in full swing. They've got like a list of the restaurants around here, which like serve local food and purchase from this urban farm project. I just thought this was the coolest thing and what a neat place for me to get to stay. Don't y'all think that's awesome? Good morning, guys. So it's my first morning here in Iowa. It is five something and my ride, Miss Ginger of Murray McMurray Hatchery will be here any minute now. And we are heading over to the hatchery. We have to get there early because the chicks hatch early and they start getting unloaded. And I wanna make sure I came all the way to Iowa for us to get to see. I wanna see them fresh. There is nothing like a little fresh egg sized chick. So we're gonna go see that. Uh, she'll be here any minute. We're here. Okay guys, we're here. I'm so excited right now. Um, okay, so I'm really, I'm, I'm trying to like contain myself because there are like thousands and thousands and thousands of baby chicks back there and we're about to go see them. Um, I've got kind of a plan to share a few different videos while I'm here, but first I just want to tell you a little bit about the story of this place. Now, I make these videos for you from the place like I was just telling Tom and Ginger. I have like vividly remember whenever I lived in town, had this like big dream of having a homestead, just a garden and some chickens in my backyard. And I used to get the Murray McMurray catalog, like so many of you do. And I would go through and I would read every single scrap of information about every single chicken that was in the catalog. And uh, so when I first met Tom at Baker Creek's Expo, I was like, oh my gosh, like I was so pumped <laughs> about this. Like my kids used to want to give me catalogs for my birthday. That's how excited I got about the catalogs. And so I was just like eating up the story of this. I love to know the backstory behind what like my, what used to be my perception. You know what I'm talking about? So um, basically Murray McMurray Hatchery was started by a man named Murray McMurray um, in 1917. He was a banker and he sold chicks out of the back of the bank. And then there was Murray McMurray Jr. and then Murray McMurray III, all of them ran this hatchery. And um, in a few decades ago, essentially, um, Bud, who now owns the hatchery, who is Tom's father-in-law, kind of bought in and basically it moved to now. And Murray McMurray Hatchery is a family-owned business that is run by a father and his daughter and her husband. Um, they are the owners of this. It actually kind of like was crazy to me because for a long time I just had envisioned this being like a huge operation. It's actually not. Um, and I kind of wanted to show that. Like I kind of want to introduce you guys to the people 
that are running this business that are producing these catalogs and all these beautiful birds. So let's go meet Tom. All right, here's Tom. <laughs> Put you on the spot with the camera. And this is Ginger. Hi. This is who is responsible for bringing me here and she's the one who makes the beautiful catalog. And I want to talk to you a little bit about chickens. Yep. So I was kind of telling them how... <laughs> I, wish, I wish my voice didn't sound like this right now, but it is what it is. So I was just telling them the story of this hatchery. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet your lovely wife yesterday yeah. and have lunch with her. And I love the fact that this is a family yep. business. Yep, so it's my wife and I and my our, her dad, our, my father-in-law, and so he's... Uh, been a sole owner since 2012 and partners in with Murray McMurray since 2001. Yeah, so. yeah, it's really cool. And so, I, I mean, we're going to kind of show like the operation and all that stuff. Do you ever see yourself like running a hatchery? Like, no, were you no. like a chicken person? No, <laughs> I didn't even know, like I knew people had chickens, yeah. you know, and but like I, even I grew up in a very small rural town, 200 people, like, and it like wasn't thing like, yeah um it's really becoming a thing though yeah like, and um, the time frame was a little yeah. different too but uh it I, no <laughs> <laughs> and even knowing that her dad was like you know owner of this hatchery it's like okay that's neat like i don't but then like once you get into it it's like i i didn't know anything about chickens but yeah. now i i'm i'm a chicken expert but. yeah so okay what's your so, favorite like do you have a favorite breed of chicken I like the Cochins. Yeah. Um, the Cochins and Brahmas. I like big. Yeah, chickens. those are really like stately. <laughs> yeah. Um, Langshans, like the, the, the prettiest chicken that I've ever had was a black Langshan rooster. Yeah. It just was absolutely gorgeous. Like, and super calm and friendly. Yeah. The tail, the tail was this plume of feathers. Like, yeah. It was huge. It was just. It was the first time, like, because I, I was, like, obsessed with chickens, and I used to, like, read the catalog, yeah. and I wanted them so bad. And then the first time I got around, like, a big, um, it was actually a Brahma rooster. Yeah. And I was really actually a little intimidated. <laughs> I didn't know that they could be so big. I was like, oh, I thought chickens were a little more, like... Yeah, no, there uh, there's there are some very big size differences. Yeah. Between. Well, I'm so excited to be here and to, to introduce I've, you I'm guys. I'm excited because it's, it's a hatch day, so that's always really fun. So. <sighs> it's hatch day. All right, well, we're gonna go take a peek. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> can you all hear that? There's a lot of chicks on the store. You can hear them. <laughs> this is the unexciting bit. Yeah. yeah. Here's all the merchandise. Oh my goodness. Here go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Hi, tiny babies. <laughs> Y'all think this whole video is going to be me giggling. It's actually quite warm in here because all these babies are in here. And it's like so much cheeping. So this is pretty exciting. And... Obviously, I've never been in a room with so many baby chicks before. Um, each one of those tubs has 100 chicks in them, and we're gonna go check out the process. That's gonna be in a later video for you. I'm gonna wrap this one up for now, uh, and I'm sorry to leave you hanging. I just wanna make this like pieced up where it's actually watchable, but uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me traveling and getting here, and um, I will see you guys on the next video, and we're gonna take a look all over this place and see lots more sweet little baby chicks. I'll talk to you guys later. I bless you. Until next time.